Kiora. We are happy that you are here to learn about Habra highlights. The focus of this video is on the Activity Viewer. In this video, you will learn how to access the Activity Viewer to see how it works in the classroom, use the Activity Viewer to provide formative feedback, and learn some strategies to cultivate digital citizenship in your learners. Hapara's Activity Viewer provides teachers with a window to what the learners are doing online. With the Activity Viewer, you can see an overview of online class activities, what individual learners are doing, and how groups are collaborating. This gives you an opportunity to provide powerful feedback based on near real-time data. To navigate to the Activity Viewer, go to app hopra.com. Choose one of your classes. Make sure you're on the Highlights tab. The Activity Viewer can be accessed by clicking on the first tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Once the Activity Viewer is open, you can see windows that display Class Activity, Unique Activity, and Collaboration. The class activity window shows you a list of websites that the learners in your class have visited. A color-coded bar next to each website gives you an overview of learner activity. The blue indicates that learners are currently active on the website, which means that learners have the website open right now. Orange indicates that learners were previously active on the website, which means that learners recently had this page open. Gray indicates that learners have never visited this page. The number that you see next to the bar shows you how many learners are currently active on a particular website. Also, by clicking on any of the rows, you will be shown a list of names of learners that are currently active previously active or never on that particular site. A powerful feature of the Activity Viewer is the ability to take snaps of student learning. Snaps are digital notes of learners' online activity that you can save and review and share with learners, parents, or colleagues. To take a snap, click on the camera icon. The unique activity window is located on the right-hand side of the screen. The unique activity window displays a list of websites that only one learner is visiting. The moment that the learner closes a tab in their browser, it will disappear from the unique activity list. The unique activity window shows you the name of the learner visiting each unique website address and how long ago they opened it. Unique activity also has three functions. You can click on the website in the list to open the same website in your browser. This will give you a better idea of what some of the learners are looking at in near real time. You can click on the camera icon to take a snap of learner activity. This helps you document learner activity online and provide formative feedback. You can click the X on the right hand side of any of the tabs displayed on the list. This is a quick, non-destructive way to redirect an off-task student. The collaboration window, located in the bottom left-hand corner, shows which learners are working together. The collaborative section shows all the websites, including Google Drive files, that two or more learners currently have open. You can click on the bar to view the names of learners who are on the same website. The window also displays color-coded icons for a brief overview of who is currently collaborating, previously collaborated, or never collaborated. You can also take a snap of learner collaboration by clicking on the camera icon. The snap will show you a screenshot of the page, list how many learners were on it, and will let you toggle between learner activity. Activity Viewer is most often used to provide formative feedback during class. When learners are working on an online assignment, you can check to see how many are on task, who has wandered onto another website, 
and who might be getting stuck on a difficult concept based on the learner activity displayed in the activity viewer. You can use the activity viewer to see who is collaborating on a group project by using the collaboration window. Let's say you've assigned a group to work together on a Google Doc. By looking at the collaboration window, you can see who is working on the Google Doc together and who isn't. You can also take a snap to review later with the learners. The Activity Viewer is a valuable tool because it allows you to support all online learner activity during class time. You can easily stay on top of learner progress and employ a proactive rather than a reactive approach to classroom management. And since the Activity Viewer is a window into what the students are doing online, you can intervene and redirect learners' attention. The Activity Viewer is a perfect tool for teaching digital citizenship and in implementing the gradual release model. By providing feedback on learners' digital activity quickly and discreetly, you can gradually reduce supervision as they begin to make responsible choices online. You can use the Activity Viewer to have class discussions about reliable and unreliable online resources when doing research projects. You can pull some of the websites listed in the Activity Viewer and have a whole class discussion about resources for online research. You can use the Activity Viewer to encourage positive online behavior and intervene discreetly when you see that a learner has strayed from the intended task. When you see something in the Activity Viewer, you can use Hopper's messaging features to redirect the learner without getting the whole class off task as well. The Activity Viewer is a great opportunity to guide learners through their online journey safely while helping them develop critical digital citizenship skills. To review, we learned how to access the Activity Viewer to see how it works in the classroom, use the Activity Viewer to promote formative feedback, and learn some strategies to cultivate digital citizenship in the classroom. If you have any questions, please reach out to us in the Hopper community. Thanks for watching.